While the topic isn't typically discussed in pop culture, language and speech patterns have been primary characters, if you will, throughout our lives. From classic films, The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. To more modern stories, Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. Speech and dialect have been an integral part of our storytelling. A new documentary premiered this month by filmmaker David Thorpe. The title, Do I Sound Gay, might come off as a little shocking, but the film takes a look at a common yet underexplored subject matter as the filmmaker embarks on a journey to find out why certain social groups sound the way they do. You are a tongue thruster. Found so alone, no. Stop it. You're going, stop it. Uh, okay. Stop. stop it. Stop it. So we asked the question, what is it in speech and vocal patterns that differentiate us? Well, I think one of the things is pitch, because females have a higher pitch voice than males do. Another characteristic is the vowel sounds. So if you come from the Midwest, your vowels are different than they are if you come from New England or New York, and the consonants may be pretty much the same but the vowels characterize your voice and actually are produced right here at the larynx. And while different regions of the country may contribute specific regional voice patterns, it might surprise you to know that speech pathologists do not intend to correct those dialects. How boring would it be if we all spoke standard American English all the time? We create these things because it makes life interesting. And that's how new words come. We wouldn't have gotten certain words. Speaking of new words, the Oxford Online Dictionary added over 500 words and phrases this year, including webisode, cake pop, and one of the more notable, twerk. I'm Joey Panic, and that's what's up.